Here's how to use a Seaboard Rise with Native Instruments Contact. For this video, we'll be using a Seaboard Rise. The same process can be applied to the Seaboard Block. It's important to note that these instructions will only work if you are using an MPE-compatible digital audio workstation. In this case, we are using Logic Pro. For this example, we are going to modify the Jazz Guitar preset from the Contact Factory Library to respond to glide, press, and slide gestures on a per-note basis. First, let's configure the Seaboard for Contact. Connect your Seaboard to the computer and launch Rolly Dashboard. On the left panel, select Multi-Channel Mode and set both the MIDI Start Channel and MIDI End Channel to 1. Set the pitch bend range to 12. This way, the pitch bend range on the Seaboard matches the maximum pitch bend range for contact instruments. Set Slide Sensitivity to around 3 o'clock to optimize the range for slide. Now, go into Logic and load an instance of contact. On the left panel, under the Libraries tab, Click on Instruments. Double click on Band, Guitars, and Jazz Guitar to load a single instance of the Jazz Guitar preset. Keep in mind, this process also works for other library instruments. First, let's set the pitch bend range of the Jazz Guitar to plus and minus 12. Click on Options. In the pitch bend range box, set Down to minus 12 and Up to plus 12. While we're here, let's bring the minimum velocity up to around 30 for better playability. Now you can use Glide to control the pitch bend range of the jazz guitar. Now let's map Press to control volume. First, go to the Edit Mode page. In the Amplifier section, click on Mod. Open the list under Velocity and select Mono Aftertouch. Set the modulation target to Volume. This will map the press gesture on the Seaboard to the volume of the jazz guitar. For better playability, pull the minimum point of the curve up to around 45%. Now we have mapped press to the volume of the jazz guitar. Now, let's map Slide to the Distortion effect. First, go to Add Effects and click on the plus symbol. Under the Effects list, select Distortion. Let's map Slide to the Drive amount. Start by dragging Drive to zero. Then, click on the Modulation box. Click on Add Modulator. Under External Sources, select MIDI CC. By default, Slide is sent as MIDI CC 74, so we need to change this value from 1 to 74. Now we can use Slide to control the drive amount of the distortion. Now click on the Save icon at the top to save our modified jazz guitar preset. Click the Refresh button and the new preset should appear under your list of guitar presets. The Seaboard sends data on multiple MIDI channels to achieve per note expression. Therefore, we have to create a multi-channel preset using our new jazz guitar. Let's add three more voices to the multi to make it a four-voice preset. To add a new voice, double-click on the modified jazz guitar preset. Make sure that each preset is set to receive a distinct MIDI channel. Now, let's save this multi by clicking the Save icon 
and selecting Save Multi As. Once it's saved, you can quickly load the multi whenever you need it. Finally, go back to Rolly Dashboard and change the MIDI end channel to 4 to match our available voices in contact. You will now be able to play the jazz guitar with per note glide, press, and slide expressions. Now you're ready to apply this concept to other contact instruments to take advantage of the expressive controls you have with the Seaboard. <laughs>